Welcome back and this was uh, Saturday morning so this is the uh, left side uh, lower wing skin plug up on the mill getting uh, the putty uh, machine on there so again Saturday morning and uh, spent most of the day finishing off um, the uh, strake side of that on Saturday so the guys were in as well on Saturday so I had a chance to chat to them and they were laying up this uh, lower right side um, of the wing strake there that has the the gear well in there and so that was the first light layers that they were laying up there uh, to complete that mold or at least to begin that mold and um, they weren't having too many problems with that enjoying their Saturday at least Saturday morning and now this is Monday and uh, Jeff and Devin are working on the right side lower wing skin uh, plug now just putting some uh, fill on some of the transitions there as, as, you, as you can see and just uh, doing a little bit of sanding in preparation for getting it uh, in the first coat of primer and being such big surfaces and not a lot of complexity it's fairly quick uh, to move that one along and so here's the um, plug again the the left side one and just finishing off Monday morning now just running the ball mill passes because that wasn't run uh, on the weekend you can see this is the absolutely I think the second last uh, path there running just that transition there on the flange and you can see the ball mill uh, doing a nice job there and the machine nicely dialed in so we're happy with that although it's getting close we're going to have to change a bearing out in that uh, drive motor soon because it's getting a little noisy and here's Devon putting uh, the carbon fiber on these um, foam braces for the uh, right side uh, cowling upper cowling there mold um, nothing too difficult there, we've done a bunch of those already so by Monday afternoon there was uh, about six different um, plugs there that were ready for primer so this is the first one that got sprayed, this is the left side upper uh, strake skin mold or plug actually and this is the closeout uh, panel for the header tank that goes behind the cabin that was a real simple one and next up this is one of the uh, rear um, baffles or uh, sort of ribs that make up the uh, the wing tank and that was the one for the right hand side I believe and there's the actual header tank itself and that one is um, just directly a mold so that we're actually going to use that as the mold and not actually pull a mold off of that because it's so simple and then this is the uh, right side upper wing strake um, plug so that one's got prime now and all of these are still going to have to have another uh, round of sanding on them but this is their first go around uh, with sanding actually sorry that yeah have another round of sanding but then they should be ready uh, for uh, having a mold pulled and here's the uh, the lower wing skin on the right hand side the one that uh, Jeff was working on just before so that got primed as well and uh, so that went fairly quickly and of course you know that one needs to be sanded and it'll get another coat of primer because every every um, plug gets two coats of primer and sanding in between and it's purely an accident I was standing in the same spot a couple of hours later when I filmed this <laughs> so this is it with the guide coat uh, put on there so that one's ready uh, to have some sanding uh, done on that one it shouldn't take long and here's Zach getting really close to finishing uh, the sanding on this one so it can get some primer and you know this one with all the different faces on there was kind of rough coming off the machine and I've uh, decided I'm going to actually next time we run one of these do two passes on it to uh, get it nice and smooth off the machine and here's where Roberto and Chris were in this afternoon and so they were working on um, bulking up or laying the heavy layers on this one for the uh, front seat mounts, the mold for the front seat mounts so that, that'll get uh, finished tonight and this is the door frames one so these ones had to have these braces and the braces have to be in two parts so those are ready uh, to be ha have the carbon fiber put over the foam there to um, brace that up so uh, Roberto and Chris are going to be doing that this evening uh, so then after that those molds will just need a little bit more work and uh, they'll be ready to actually uh, prep so we can lay up those door frames so once those door frames are created you'll recall that we'll be using this uh, fixture and we have one for the left and right in order to uh, do a bunch of trimming and other work on the door frames so I've been setting up some of the tool paths for this so this is um, the one that's just going to trim around the lower outside and here it's just running the simulator to show how that would go around um, and just 
trim off, off the outside sort of flange off of that part and you see you've got the door locks in there and those have to be um, where they made up to the frame they have to be drilled so four holes on each so I've got tool paths to run that and also have to cut out the side where the door latches actually come through the side of the frame so I've got tool paths for that so this will just show you a little bit this is the tool paths now that will run to actually cut out the side it's a little tricky in there getting in there but I've created all these different paths to do that and uh, this is what the one's going to look like when it drills the hole so obviously the those uh, blocks that are there right now in the CAD they're not going to be there when we run this it'll just be the sort of empty door frame but here you can see it's drilling the four holes there and uh, I'll slow it down a little bit and uh, run it again here so you can see kind of what's happening so this is just basically so we have holes pre-drilled in the door frame so when the locks go in place um, they line up with the holes that are in the locks so just make it really easy for us to align everything and then you can see running a little bit slower so speaking of locks this is what the lower um, hook ones are going to look like and Mark who's doing all of our FEA stuff he's been doing the final engineering on these because I just did the original or the initial um, conceptual design for these based upon um, what he gave me sort of as, a, as an idea and always expected you know he would go and engineer it to handle all the loads and this is basically it fully engineered now and just showing here this is sort of animating how um, it opens and you see it's got an over center locking mechanism there in the in the middle section there but when you move this uh, red sort of lever there you'll see it how it actuates the lock and opens it so there's three of those on the bottom of the door and then the pin ones and we'll show you the pin ones later um, there's about uh, six of those around the sides of the doors so anyway that's um, how that's gonna be so that's our update for the first half of this week um, thanks again for watching